those goosebumps every time I need the high Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a voiceover video. You guys haven't had one of these in probably about a month or two. So this video will have my entire face, lips, eyes, everything like that as far as this tutorial. So I'm really excited for you guys to see this video because you guys like haven't seen my entire routine in a long time. Although nothing really changes up too much. But for this look, I decided to do a chocolate glittery smoky eye with also a matching chocolate lip. I usually try to do a chocolate smoky eye at least once a year um, around the fall time, but I didn't get around to the fall time, so why not around Thanksgiving, you know? So uh, here is your Thanksgiving makeup story if you want to be extra as hell and be glam as fuck. <laughs> this is definitely something I would wear to my family for Thanksgiving. Um, Thanksgiving is one of the one holidays that I do like to dress up for because Christmas, I usually don't. I usually go in pajamas, um, my hair looking a mess, you know, I'm looking raggedy, whatever. But as far as Thanksgiving, I like to look kind of presentable and put together because you never know who's coming over for Thanksgiving as far as Christmas it's usually just your immediate family so I hope you guys enjoyed this look like I said I'm quite obsessed with it I am bitch your bitch is glowing like I found this new it's not new it is a blink and um it's a collaboration between the eyeshadow company blink and boxycharm and I got this probably like three or four boxycharms ago and it just has the most beautiful eyeshadows like the most buttery, creamy, amazing eyeshadows. I love to use these eyeshadows when I'm doing um, eyeshadows, like looks on clients because I haven't used it on camera. But unfortunately, two of them broke when I got my BoxyCharm box. So I haven't really been able to dabble into these two. But the other three stayed intact. There's a very like foiled kind of wet material. So it's very, um, very um, softly pressed. So it's not gonna be like a, like a hard matte compact shadow. So anyways, this eyeshadow right here, it is called Rodini. It is stunning. It's what I have on the cheeks. It is what I have on the nose, the cupid's bow. And then I mix Rodini with um, or, Pri or Prime. I mix these two together for the inner corner. So I do a little tap of the lighter shimmer and then more of the bronzier gold shade. But this has been, if they can make this into just a highlighter, I would be all over it because I feel like for darker skin women, I feel like there's not very many golden, like, more golden highlighters. There's more, like, frosty, kind of white, champagne, shimmery-ish. But we need something like this, especially that's going to pop. Like, this actually pops against my skin. Anyways, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm done chit-chat because I know y'all are going to yell at me about my intro. But I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are starting by priming my lids. I'm using the MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45 and just a concealer diffuse brush from Sigma. Next, we're gonna go into the Morphe 35O. You guys said you wanted to see more looks using this eyeshadow palette. So here it is. We are, we are taking the warm transition shade out of this palette with a Sigma E40 blending brush. This is a big, large, fluffy blush brush. It just diffuses the product and distributes it all over the eyelid then I'm going to take a darker more chocolate or brown it is at the very bottom row of the palette and I'm taking that on an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow brush that comes out of the palette and I'm just working that into the crease this is kind of like the bridge shade so this is the medium shade that's gonna go right in between the uh, transition and the deep, deepest darkest shade so right now I'm just using a lighter brown just to kind of diffuse that brown because I felt like it was a little too harsh Next, I am taking the darkest, most cool tone, deepest eyeshadow color in this palette and just packing that into the outer corner and then into the crease. So next, I am taking another Sigma eyeshadow brush in the NYX Glitter Glue and I'm placing this right directly where I want all of the glitter to be. This is by far my favorite glitter primer, but e.l.f. has one that is a dollar that is really, really amazing. Then I'm using this chocolate glitter I'm not sure where I got it from, but I'm just packing that all over the lid for a glitter smoky eye. And you can use whatever color you want if you don't want to do brown, but brown is just so stunning. Then I'm using my NYC Black Liquid Eyeliner, and I am just doing a really, really, really large wing liner. For lashes, I'm using the Eyelora number 126, and I will have a video on that coming tomorrow most likely and then the benefit professional primer i am using that to prime my skin just to blur the pores fill in in the, in the pores blur out the skin and prime the skin and i love this primer it's amazing and then for foundation i'm using the urban decay naked skin foundation which i am like on the the 
skins of my teeth with this it is like almost gone but this foundation does me no problems it does me um, amazing every single time so I'm blending that in with a beauty blender it gives a nice natural finish then I decided to use my LA girl pro concealer today in the shade fawn I should have used a different concealer this concealer I just felt like was way too warm you'll see when I start to blend it out it just seems way too yellowy banana y which usually isn't a problem when I don't use foundations that are a little bit more warm base, a little bit more um, orangey of a base. But in this foundation, or with this foundation, I didn't really like the pairing. But nonetheless, I still use my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. This just baked, I baked up the nose on the chin and the cupid's bow, all of the places where I get the most oily. And then I press that into the skin a little bit later. And then for next, or for next, next, I'm going to be using the Black Radiance True Complexion Color contour palette and I'm using a little blush brush just to contour and diffuse the contour so it's not really defined and structured so I mainly focus the cheekbones and then the sides of the forehead not really my forehead because my wig usually covers that and then for blush I use toasted almond it is a black radiance blush with a blush brush from the pretty bar and after that I am highlighting I'm using Rodini it is so stunning do you see this do you see this it is amazing like I just need this in one large eyeshadow pan as a highlighter for black women and it would just be so amazing because we're missing those like bronzy or golden more golden highlighters for us all of the highlighters I feel like are more frosty but right now as you see I'm just highlighting down the bridge and the tip of the nose and then I am gonna go back up to the eyes so I um, am using an Ico pencil. This is the L'Oreal Silk Isimi Eyeliner. I have no problems with this. It doesn't bleed. It doesn't budge. Anything like that. And then I'm repeating the steps that I did on the upper lash line by using that dark brown and smudging that on another Anastasia Beverly Hills double ended brush and just smudging that on the lower lash line. And then I use a different one and I mix um, Rudini and Oak. Kari or something I'll have them both listed down below but I mix them two in the inner corner just to give a more golden sparkly effect and then I decide to take a little bit what's on my left on my brush no extra product and pop it on my brow bone I never shimmer my brow bones but today I decided to do something a little different and for lips I am using a dose of colors liquid lipstick this is in the shade chocolate wasted so pretty I still have it on right now and it's 550 515 and I it hasn't budged at all it is so so long wearing and so comfortable so after that that completes my video you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you were happy that I did another talk through please stay tuned for sing breaks and I will see you guys in the next one Mwah. bye And if you want to be down with bad boy, then fuck you too. She know, exhale, fuck you too. <laughs> I can't.